thought he's had a good arm. Can you give me your, your take on how he is developing through the course of this season? Well, it's, you know, this is a, you know, this is a big jump for him, right? Just based on where he's been the last couple of years. You know, I've said this many times about a number of players last year, uh, not being able to play was, uh, you know, such a, a bummer for so many players who were, you know, probably in that age range of, of really needing a, a year of minor league baseball to get better. Uh, we were going to move him to the bullpen last year uh, from being an, an A-ball starter. Uh, so that hampered him. So now being thrust into the major leagues after not pitching for a year, changing roles, you know, it, it's, it's a difficult transition. But uh, the thing we like about this fella is, uh, you know, I think he's got, uh, first of all, the, you know, the, a major league arm. But as you well know, it takes more than that. There's a lot of guys with major league arms. But uh, I think there's a, uh, there's an aptitude there. Uh, there's a desire to succeed. There's a work ethic. You know, I think he, he thinks the right way. Uh, he's a student. He listens. And he's, uh, you know, every time he takes the mound, he's gaining valuable experience. Uh, you know, he's an unfinished product, uh, you know, trying to perform in the big leagues. But we're seeing signs, uh, especially lately, of, uh, you know, the ball in the strike zone uh, more consistently. Some of the things we've addressed mechanically, uh, he's taking into the game. Uh, I think we're seeing, uh, you know, better pitches uh, during the course of his outings. By that, I'm meaning location, shape to the breaking ball, life to the fastball. All those things are, are happening, uh, you know, the more he gets in there. And it's, a, you know, it's that from a coaching perspective, you know, when you have eight or nine relievers and you're in trying to win ball games, and uh, you know it, it's tough to you know you know single out one or two guys for development when you're trying to when you're trying to win. But uh, we know we have to. You know, last night, for instance, you know, down four to two, uh, we bring Justin Lawrence in, in the game, who's again in that, in that same sort of I wouldn't say predicament, but in that same situation that. Uh, Lucas is in where he has a major league arm and we're trying to develop that. And we, and we saw the, you know, the squib base hit to the left side uh, off the bat of Iglesias. And then the ill-advised walk to Marsh, uh, who's sort of in the same shoes from the offensive side, a young player trying to, you know, find his way. And a young pitcher walked, uh, walked a young position player. And those are the, those are growing moments, probably for both sides, right? This guy took a walk and our guy walked him. And then, uh, you know, the catcher sort of looped one in the lights and, you know, Charlie couldn't, couldn't handle it. But, uh, but with Lucas specifically, we're, we're seeing signs of more consistency. Uh, you know, the effort level is, is where it needs to be. I think early in the year he was trying to overthrow the ball, uh, as a lot of young pitchers do when they get to the big leagues thinking they have to do more. Uh, you know, there's more, I think, poise. Uh, I do think he's a clear thinker. Uh, I mean, Time will tell as we go, but, you know, we're still getting to know him. So, uh, but all in all, I think he's in a pretty good spot presently. Okay, one more follow-up to that. Um, would you say it's your strategy as, a, as an organization right now with your young players, but specifically some of your young relievers, is that you want to, you know, when you can, when the situation's right, to give them a little baptism by fire, so to speak. Oh, no. I mean, is that one of the things – that, that's on your game plan for this season? For sure. I think the next two months, you know, you'll see, I don't know whether you'll see more of it because we want to, you know, obviously we want to have that coincide with who we think should be in the game to win. But there are going to be games where it necessitates getting a young guy into a, a tough spot where it totally is baptism under fire. Uh, the other night, uh, Gilbert came in after the, you know, that Friday night game in LA and, and got the save. Uh, that was a great opportunity for him. Uh, you've seen Bowden, uh, his last couple outings uh, come in, 
in some key situations. You know, yesterday, you know, he came in after Herman gave up the homers, you know, uh, four to one game. You know, got Otani and got up to, you know, to keep the game close there in the seventh inning. Rogers hit the homer to draw, to draw us closer. Uh, so specifically, Lawrence, Gilbert, Bowden, uh, you've seen Santos uh, a little bit. You know, those fellows will, you know, continue to get opportunities to, to see what they can do. And really, Patrick, you've heard me say this, every day is a test, uh, regardless of the type of game it is. Uh, if it's a close game or not, or if the game is stretched one way or the other, uh, you know, that tells you something too. Uh, you know, the job for a reliever to come in, and if we're losing, you know, by, you know, five, six, seven runs, get out of that inning clean and don't have another guy come in and clean up a mess of, that you created, even though uh, the game's out of hand. And likewise, you know, if, uh, if we have a big lead and you're asked to, to come in in a, in a situation where uh, we need you to throw a couple innings and, and don't have Gibbons or Bard or Estevez get up to bail you out, that's a test too. So every day is a test uh, for players. And I'm sorry, just one more very quickly. I don't mean to take up everybody's time. Um, is that a is that kind of a balancing act for you guys for for you and the, the other pitching coaches to decide? You know, we're in this game, but we want to put this guy high leverage. And it's a little bit for sure, uh, but a lot of times, you know, based on the you know who's available, who's not available, who who we're trying to stay away from uh, on a given night. Uh, you know, it necessitates maybe certain guys pitching. Uh, I wouldn't say out of a out of a role, but uh, in games that uh, will test them a little bit. Thanks, everyone.